Hello everyone, I am Ardhindu De. You are watching ADC English Literature. Many of my students ask me what to study about William Shakespeare, particularly at the beginning. I say, okay, he is the 156 odd sonnets, 40 odd dramas, and a few long poems. You can begin the best possible way through sonnets. No sir, what about tragedies? So when the new student comes into the domain of William Shakespeare, they often time ask me about tragedies. Okay, I say take Corp 4, Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth and King Lear. It's like a perfect square of Shakespeare learning. Herein, I am going to carry out a preliminary ideas of that four great tragedies of Shakespeare, Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth and King Lear. In the third period of William Shakespeare, that is 1600 to 1602, the great tragedies predominates, starting with Julius Caesar. Uh, Shakespeare reaches a greater heights in the uh, celebrated the four great tragedies Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth and King Lear. The structure of Julius Caesar is quite unusual that, that precedes these four dramas. It looks like two tragedies in one, the first Caesars and then Brutus. It is also a revenge tragedy when Antony becomes the Avenger. For the playwright uh, the ship from English history in the recently complicated Henry V to that Roman history uh, is a kind of a, a new releasing of confidence and that is a continuity of a master artist that steps in into the new domain. Why the Julius Caesar is important because in Julius Caesar all of the four major parts that will be played in four great tragedies that I have just referred is being readily rehearsed. Hamlet is probably written in 1601. Uh, it's a tragedy of revenge. Hamlet is generally considered the foremost tragedy in English drama. Numerous commentaries have been written analyzing every aspect of the play and interpretations of Hamlet's character motivation continues to be subject of considerable interest. It is so because the figure of Hamlet has so fascinated the successive generations that play has provoked more discussion, more performances and more scholarship than any other in the history of the world drama. It stands at the very center of Shakespeare's dramatic career. On the one hand, concluding a decade that had seen the composition of the mature committees and English history plays, on the other hand, placing the sequence of great four tragedies that we are just talking about. Hamlet is interesting a study because here the lead character is fascinating one and it is more a study of human psychology than the dramatic accents or performances. So, uh, to a young reader who is just coming up into the domain of Shakespearean tragedies must go through uh, all these uh, Hamlet or its explanations because it will make him ready to further his studies. King Lear has two parallel tragedies. Portrayals of the madness of Lear on the one hand brought on by the cruelty of his elder daughters Goneril and Regan and the death of Lear with Cordelia's body in his arms. So uh, it's all a family drama if we look at um, the very core of the subject but it is also poignant tragedy that leads us into the greater relationship between father and daughter. King Lear can be read various ways as a theological drama, as a philosophical one, as a supreme example of Shakespeare's intuitive egalitarianism or even as a melodrama lifted towards tragedy only by its superb poetry. 
It is the most titanic of Shakespeare's great tragedy. It also contains an underplot. The story of the Duke of Gloucester and his sons. The double plot also provides parallels in the fates of the Lear and Gloucester. The ruin of both men is brought about not only by their children's ingratitude but also by their own lack of insight or judgment. Another notable drama that uh, I say students must know a little bit of Othello. Othello is written about 1604, is a tragedy on the theme of jealousy. The affairs of state are prominent in Othello. The domestic tragedy of a fine marriage vindicatively destroyed is the play's dominant concern. This narrow focus makes the play unique among Shakespeare's great tragedies. But the towering achievement of both craft and imagination is the plotting and portrayal of the relationship between Iago and Othello. So, if we need a greater complex understanding of color, gender and jealousy, we must come into the world of Othello. I am mentioning Macbeth as a fourth tragedy that you must follow or you must understand. Macbeth is Shakespeare's thriller. It is a tragedy and relatively quite easy for students to understand. It is a tragedy in five acts, first performed in about 1606. The play's title role is loosely based on the career of King Macbeth of Scotland. Shakespeare drew his material from Hollinshed's Chronicles. Even though he has made many changes, even the entire plot, entire time frame or time or the duration of the actions of Macbeth's reign has been curtailed as far as his dramatic requirement is there, he make resize of Macbeth. The play was written in the honor of James Swan. It is one of the most popular and powerful in Shakespeare tragedies. Closely knit in structure, direct and concentrated in impact. Historically, a commander under King Duncan, Macbeth murdered Duncan in historically it had been 1040 and claimed the kingdom for himself. After a rule of about 20 years, Macbeth was killed by Duncan's son Malcolm. Who later become King Malcolm III. The tragedy that we find in Shakespearean story is a penetrating, concentrated and harrowing study of the ambition of Macbeth and added to it his wife Lady Macbeth too. Three witches who appear on the stage when the play opens confront Macbeth and prophecy that he will one day become king of Scotland and that his companion Banco will beget kings although he will never become one himself. So the entire plot is hatched as if from distance uh, a mysterious uncanny forces are doing mechanics on Macbeth but Macbeth is himself making the ruins of himself. Macbeth, who is already a hero because of his skill as a soldier, cannot rest with his knowledge of the prophecy but instead takes fate into his own hands and commits the murder and the drama continues. So in the whole of the Macbeth drama you will find the persuasion and the gist for one who is drawn and who is hardly driven by the ambition, robust ambition, and that ambition brings forth the ruins of that man. So the students who are just coming up into the world of Shakespearean dramas as far as tragedies are concerned, there are sonnets which are equally fascinating to them, but when they are coming into Shakespearean world of 
dramas particularly tragedies these four tragedies will be a relatively booster one for their understanding of Shakespeare as a dramatist so a prehend knowledge of these four dramas will lead him to further studies like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of little informations shared to you bye bye